So much. Uh, it's a s real pleasure to be playing for the TEDx Manitoba event. I've uh, been a fan of TED.com for years and years, so when I got the phone call, there was no hesitation. <laughs> of course, I want to do this. And uh, so pleased to have Jeremy here. Uh, Jeremy is he's a musical genius, there's no other word for him, and uh, he's such a pleasure to play with. Uh, we've been playing together for almost two years now, and he's just such a great person and a great musician, so let's have a round of applause for Jeremy Rooster. We could only bring a certain number of instruments, so we decided on the guitar and the accordion. So um, we're going to do a tune right now that my son and I wrote together. Um, my, a couple years ago, I lost my mom very, very suddenly. And uh, as musicians often do, to get through a tough time, we'll write a fiddle tune or write a song or um, Heal through music is how we believe it. And uh, I had a part of a tune in my head and I couldn't think of a first part to go with it. It was more of a, a second part of a, of a piece of music. And I asked my 16 year old son at the time if he could maybe come up with something. And you know what, he was going through the same thing. He had the first part of a tune in his head, couldn't finish it. So we actually put the parts together and we were amazed at uh, how beautiful it sounded. So we're gonna play a tune that uh, my son Alex and I wrote called Memories of Eva. <laughs> accordion time. <laughs> you might have, uh, if, if uh, you've been around the city for a while, you may have seen Jeremy busking at the Forks. He, he spent a lot of time busking there with his accordion. Every time I mentioned his name, they, people would say, oh, that's the guy that busks at the Forks, <laughs> his accordion. So we're going to do a French-Canadian tune for you called The Real Beatrice. Thank you. 
in the prairies, a lot of old-time dances happen. I've played for a lot of those dances. I've been playing for them since I was about 16 years old. And the greatest treat um, for playing for an audience is when they tap their feet and it makes them happy, puts a smile on their face, and gets them on the dance floor. Well, I don't see a dance floor here, but that's okay. If you're dancing in your chair, that's just as, just as good. But uh, the Métis music is very popular in uh, the prairies as well. And by Métis music, we mean the blend of the French Canadian and the First Nations. And it's really rhythmic. It's really fun to to listen to. It's, they also call it crooked because it doesn't always have eight bars. In music, they say you have to have eight bars and be able to count to eight. But it's not always true with Métis music. So we're going to do a little Métis medley here for you. And uh, hope you enjoy it. I have one more for you. Um, even though I was introduced as Patty Lamru, I'm actually Ukrainian. Lamru is my married name, and uh, I'm Ukrainian, grew up here in Manitoba. And every time I hear a Ukrainian melody, I'm really drawn to it, whether it's the sound of the accordion or the cymbales or Ukrainian fiddle music. But I was down in the States judging at a fiddle contest one time, and I heard this Ukrainian tune, and I thought, that's really odd, because you don't hear that kind of music down south. So I moseyed on up to where I heard the music coming from and uh, asked what the name of it was, and they said, well, that's called Bluegrass in the Backwoods. <laughs> not Ukrainian at all. There was not a single pierogi in sight. <laughs> but it was a great tune, and it was written by Kenny Baker, who's a great bluegrass fiddler. And we're going to finish off with that. Thank you so much for being a great audience, and enjoy the day. I know we will. And thanks for having us. Woo!
so much. Thank you.